All right, guys, here we are again. Got the motor stripped down. Uh, got some new parts to go on it. Got the other parts from the other boat. Well, they were here a minute ago. Uh, we're replacing the water pump, both water pumps, the uh, raw water and the uh, internal water pump on the engine. We're going to put the Volvo high-rise manifold on here instead of the, the other one that was on the Merc Cruiser. Of course, we got our new new uh, bolts for this because the uh, one of them didn't have them. I'm thinking it was the this one was missing some. So uh, the ones that were on this motor that were on these risers were too short for the uh, the Volvo riser so we bought some new ones for that today uh don't mind this it's stuck out a little bit because we were checking the bearings and everything on the bottom end we're going to put a new water uh, water new oil pump in it uh today i don't believe there was anything wrong with the old old one that was in here but we're going to do it now just while well, we've got it out it's a lot easier than doing it later uh well right now it's just stripped down we're getting ready to clean it up uh, we've decided not to paint this one red just because uh, yeah we kind of we kind of like that it's it's black and then we also think it's kind of funny that it's still got all the Merc Cruiser stuff on it so that'll be fun but uh, yeah we're gonna get this one cleaned up get some parts put on and uh, we'll try to catch some of it all right guys we're just getting off the old uh, manifold gasket intake manifold gasket we are using this little uh, razor blade scraper make sure that you put something down in here because as you can see all the stuff is dropping down in here you don't want it to drop down in here sometimes it can get down in your hole, hole here for the distributor and stuff end up in your oil pan clog your oil pump up and that can cause some serious problems so you just want to try to get all that off there try to make that as clean as possible there's any rough edges you see there so you get a nice seal on that gasket Hitting around there, but that shouldn't hurt. Hurt anything?
have two different style gaskets for this. And the ones with the pegs and the ones without. We have the ones with the pegs. There's no holes here. Fit these little pegs here. So this actually goes first, and then this goes. What is it the kids always say? 50 years later. There it goes. Yeah, I would put, well, I'm going to, but yeah, I would put some of this here where these two join. using RTV you don't have to use this you can use any of it Houston, we have a problem. We were trying to get the bolts in and kept having a problem. So if you look, this one kind of stands straight up when you put it in. And on the one we pulled it from. Those two sit back farther. Yeah, these these actually are ah, you can get it in there because they're such an angle. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Wrong side. There we go. All right. So those sit in there, and they sit in at a deeper angle. Yeah. So, anyways, back to the original. No high rise. Light fucking thing. It makes fucking light. Where the fuck is the flashlight? Here. <laughs> uh, all right. Bolt. There you go. You want to make sure it's got gross on it? Look at that. That's beautiful. A lot less cussing involved. Alright All right, guys, when you're torquing these down, make sure they're nice and clean. Put a little oil on them so it doesn't throw off your readings. I mean, I don't think they got to be that perfect, but, you know, there are some freaking torque Nazis out there that'll tell you they got to be, you know, like they're going on the space shuttle or something, but... Torque Nazis. I feel like that should be a t-shirt. This time we're getting them drawn down before we start torquing. What he said? Stuff's getting stuck. Metric. Half metric, half American, like they do today. They can't make up their mind. So it worked? What worked? The screwdriver I said he used. I don't know what, even what you're talking about. I mean, the, I mean, the socket. Oh. 
pocket watch still there. Uh, all right. Needs a fun Dr. Seuss name. Okay. I don't know how they say to do it. I know how I'm going to do it. So how are you going to do it? I'm going to start at 20. And then I'm going to work my way up. And I might... So why exactly do they have to be at a certain like? I don't know. Thing. I just follow the rules. I oh. don't make the rules. Okay, that's fair. It's supposed to be so you get a nice, good, even amount of pressure, and I think it has something to do with not tearing up freaking bolts. Some people just go buck wild, and start snapping bolts off. We don't know anybody like that, do we? boy Donald if you had a problem doing that names of people have not been changed to protect their identity we don't give a crap about his identity I mean when somebody doesn't care about their own identity then you don't have to care about theirs either true story I need to find my... Alright, so you switch to a different socket? Yes, yeah, different size. What my idea. Just following the rules? Yep. That's right. Catching on. And well, that's pretty cool that that wrench just adjusts to it. That's neat stuff. So that's the pounds of pressure? Yep. Put something in there. That was a real pain. This fella here just asked me to get him a wrench, and I said, what size? And he said, the wrench size. <laughs> 